So this is the first step of manufacturing the furniture. The raw materials are taken into the workshop, they are measured and cut into shape and ready to be assembled into something like this. In two days, they can make up to 10 of these cabinets, and once it is like this, it's ready to be taken upstairs and painted. So, once the furniture has been assembled, it is ready to be painted. All the furniture here is painted by hand in all these beautiful colours. A table like this, for example, will take up to two or three hours for the three employees to paint. So here are some of the finished products. I'm surrounded by stools, cabinets of all sizes, cabinets for children, and now these products are ready for girls throughout Mongolia and to be sent all over the world. Felt is one of the most popular products in Mongolia. Another micro enterprise that we're looking at today is the felt making business. These are some of the wonderful products they have created, so we're going to go take a look and see how the business works. Once the wool has been combed, it is now ready to be dyed by any color they wish. So once the wool has been dyed, they get it wet and then they mat it and then it turns into felt. They're cut up into ships and sewn together by hand to create a product like this shoe or this boots. All these products are sold, sold and exported all around the world. Wow, so that was very interesting. So what else does your organization do to help the people of Mongolia? Well, our organization has 11 branch offices all around Mongolia, uh, such as Lambara City, Tarhan Olaymak, Orhan, Bulgan, Tuv, Silang, and Bayang Ulgi and Dorna Daimaks. So we have uh, business advisors, and all our business advisors are working at our branch offices. And so if you are a businessman, you can apply and or visit our branch offices and to ask uh, and or to develop your business skills. 
Wow, so a lot of work going on throughout Mongolia and Ulaanbaatar especially at the yeah. moment. Yes. So I've come to one of the branch offices to meet an employee to find out what kind of advice they give to people regarding their small businesses. Let's go inside and find out what's going on right now. Hi, thank you for coming to Voice Box today. Yeah, no problem. So this is Garrett, a Peace Corps volunteer that works both here and in Darhan. So could you tell us a little bit about the work that you do? Yes, um, I have worked uh, at DS for the last eight months. My primary assignment is in Darhan, but I do come to UB uh, from time to time to work in the main office and our branch offices. So I work in a ver an office very similar to this, and my primary roles are um, working with the advisors to build capacity, uh, improve DS operations, and develop new services. So what kind of services and training does uh, DS offer? Okay, well our branch offices are where our clients, our small business clients can come to get hands-on services, whether they are returning clients or if they're new clients that want to start their business. And DS offers a variety of services including business project planning, uh, as you can see behind us, um, various types of training, um, as well as business information, linkage and financial services. So why do you think it's important to offer training like this to people who run small businesses? Well, our main goal here is what we want to do, especially with our trainings, is we want to provide our clients with the tools that they need to succeed in their business and to help them grow their business in the future. So how do you think organizations like this benefit people who run small businesses in Mongolia? Well, again, we provide our business clients with the tools that they need to grow their business, but it's also important for the overall economic development of Mongolia and also for the clients that we help um, to spread their products to foreign markets, to spreading Mongolian culture and products around the world. Okay, so thank you for showing us what some of the work that you do here. I think it's a great thing that small businesses in Mongolia have the opportunity yes. to flourish and expand their business yeah. and export their products all around the world. Yes, not a problem. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thanks to our guests, and I've learned so much about Mongolian handcraft products, and I hope it has inspired our viewers as well. To maybe start up their own businesses. Yes. yes. And also, maybe I could send some of the products home to my friends and family in Scotland. Yeah. For example, felt boots. Perfect for Scottish winter. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. So maybe some of you guys would like to start your own business one day. Yeah, there are certain things you need to do. A good place to start is to draw up a business plan. Well, I could safely say that I wouldn't know how to do that. So maybe we can try and find out and show the viewers at home how to make a perfect business plan. Hey, you there. Yes, you. Interested in starting your own business? Well, there are certain steps you must follow to take your great idea from a thought in your head to a successful business. Well, first of all, obviously, you need an idea. You might want to start a restaurant or a cafe. Or you might want to make a furniture company. Introduce your 